All right, everyone. It is me. Oh, uh, I love waking up in the morning. Uh, gives me I got a nice, comfortable bed. It's me, Judson Chen, and oh boy, what a day. So uh, we got a decent amount to talk about. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to try to keep the video short because I'm actually in the queue with my stock brokerage online. I am number 14 in the queue and the markets aren't even open yet. So, uh, you know, I'm starting to get E-Trade vibes because basically I withdrew money, right? And it said processed, but now the money is available to trade on my stock account, but then yet yeah, it's not, like, I don't see any of my bank account. So I'm already getting like, you know, what the fuck are they doing, right? Basically they're, I, I, I assume what's happening is everyone's pulling their money out of the stock brokers and the stock brokers try to prevent people from doing that. It's really scam, scummy bullshit, and there's really nothing I can do about it. Because eventually they will have to give me my money, but, you know, they're trying to delay shit. So I'm in the live chat just to see if uh, that's really the fucking case. Of course they'll deny it, but I want to see if I can, you know, push things along. So now I'm number 13 in the queue. So I have my message pre-made, so, um, I don't know, during the video, probably towards the end, I might have to actually answer the thing, so... Uh, so anyway, uh, let's just get right to it. So first things first, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is at 16, so the interest is going down a bit. It's kind of funny because it's been pretty stable, right? So now people are just like, eh, who cares about crypto? Uh, Bitcoin dance is at 65.9%. 24 hour volume is very low at one, a little under 113 billion. So uh, now that the stimulus has passed, uh, well, it's past the Senate as of this, uh, you know, uh, time making this video, which is 9.18 a.m. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be stable. Nancy Pelosi says she has to look at it, but basically she said it looks pretty good, so they're probably going to pass it. They kind of have to because, as we're about to see, this number is going insane. So, you know, if the House rejects it, they're going to be like, hey, we were getting unemployment insurance. And we're getting – and Chuck Schumer even himself said yesterday – Everyone's getting full salary for unemployment insurance. So it's like, why the fuck are you screwing us over? Right? So, you know, they're not going to be able to blame the Republicans this time around, which is basically what Mike Cernovich is doing right now. Uh, he said he's going to turn the Senate blue. Uh, they say, like, oh, only 1,500 people had followed me. So I know this is the popular move. And it's like, uh, you know, I mean, at this point, the problem is everyone's really not on board with the Nick Fuentes Groyper uprising. That's really the measure of truth that I'm using. Like, nobody was ever aligned with that. <clears throat> so, uh, so will it work? I mean, I think in the short term it kind of will, simply because nobody likes the Republican Party, right? Not even other Republicans. So that's, that's where Mike's, you know, going on the attack. The problem is it'll still kind of cock block Trump in the true MAGA movement. So uh, that will eventually, you know, have that will, that will eventually butt heads. But, you know, uh, we'll just let that play itself out. Uh, the second thing before I go on is what else? Uh, because there was something else to it, too. Oh, yeah. So I was, I was trying to get different reactions from everybody. I didn't get Will Chamberlain's, actually. Did I? Will Chamberlain. I don't even like a retweet of stuff anymore because everyone hates his guts. So, uh, But he still has some good takes. Uh, drag of their feet, don't care, deserve smart tech, uh, uh, drop the regs. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's doing standard stuff, but I don't think he has any problems with the stimulus bill either. Adam Townsend, let's see. He used to actually be a fundraiser and possibly a donor to Democrats. Like, he was high level. Like, he actually fundraised for uh, John Kerry. So this guy was a pretty high-level Democrat guy, and then he just got disenfranchised with the Democrat Party. So that's why now he's kind of like in the, I guess you could say, center-left by himself kind of thing. Uh, he's generally pretty, um, he's been pretty vocal about the shutdown. He obviously hates it. And then once the stimulus bill passed, he had no problems. Like, he wasn't screaming. So, in fact, he was kind of taking my position, which is, yeah, time to get rich. <laughs> so, uh, but he did at least retweet Mike Surge, you know, at least acknowledging that yeah this is gonna fuck over a lot of people i have a more positive view like the like like what did you want right whether we got something or we get nothing which is worse right it's like well we should get more you're right we should get more but you're not gonna get more and the real re and no one wants to say this but i'll say this 
I have to say it in a non deplatforming way. The reason why the people are not going to get more is simply because they're not challenging the establishment. You're not challenging the countries that have real control over America, right? You're not criticizing the countries that, you know, uh, cannot be named or criticized. You're, they're not criticizing censorship in its purest form because they, they want censorship, right? You know, like it goes back to what I said before. Uh, you know, we all get what we deserve, and that's what's happening, you know? Now we're getting better uh, stuff from what we deserve because we're putting in some kind of effort to fuck over the establishment, but it's clearly not enough, right? And our results reflect that, right? You know, people want to scream and jump down, jump up and down on Nick McCuckle and the, you know, like the Lindsey Graham types, right? And I know Nick Fuentes also <laughs> said some very choice words on Lindsey Graham and blackmail tapes, and and he said that's why Lindsey Graham is such a uh, a bitch, right? I have to be careful with the deplatforming because that's because we use that's we use using the f f words, right? So uh, and it's true, right? That's why Lindsey Graham's such an asshole, right? But it goes well beyond that, right? <clears throat> so it's not enough just to blame Mitch McCuckle and the establishment Republicans. You're also supposed to be blaming degeneracy and the Democrat establishment. And I just don't see these two things happening because, again, most people in this world, especially in America, are, are fallen, right? We're not Christian, right? They're, you know, they, everyone needs to start watching Jesse Lee Peterson, okay? I haven't watched him in a long time, but there's really not much more I can uh, really glean from him for the time being. Uh, so, ah, interesting. All right. Uh, wow, we're literally at the uh, edge. So, yeah, so anyway, oh, I better check. Uh, I have position 12, okay. So, you know, it's like, uh, oh man, I lost my train of thought. This is gonna be kind of hard because I got so many things to go over. Yeah, so basically this is, yeah, so basically that's what's happening. It's like, you know, like, if you really want to get people populist, you have to start doing basically what Nick Fuentes and the Groyper Uprising is doing. And nobody's doing that, right? Not Mike. And I don't like, and I don't like criticizing Mike Cernovich, but this is a valid criticism, right? Mike's not doing it. Will Chamberlain's not doing it. Uh, the fake right's uh, not doing it, right? Uh, nobody's doing it. And, of course, nobody on the left is doing it either. So, you know, it's like... You know, obviously, I do have a slight upset. Well, not a slight obsession with Casey Tron, but I was because she used to be really fat, and then she actually dropped a lot of weight, so she actually looks pretty hot now. And she's still kind of complaining uh, a bit about Trump, which kind of annoys me. because you just been banned off of Twitch permanently, and you still haven't figured it out yet, and it's like it's getting kind of annoying. But on the other hand, I still could sense that like, she might have some kind of you know willingness to listen to the other side. So I'm kind of just curious to see if that'll happen right you know i know britney venti supposedly was a conservative i know uh nick fuentes and rush v don't like her because they basically call basically think of her as a, a, a as a thought or what's the word e-girl kind of thing right <clears throat> but at this point i'm just willing to take anything you know because what have i said before right you know i'm willing to tolerate it because women are okay with some of that stuff as long as they know that there's a stronger man on top to override you know her decisions in case she does something wrong right women are totally okay with that you know i think i'm still allowed to say that but eventually you won't be allowed to say that all right so that's how you handle you know the ego problem right you let her do her ego thing but she'll always have a man that's like above her right because that's the or natural order of things according to the bible and then uh you know everybody's happy all right so that's how i look at it you know nick it takes a much more strict approach he just simply says no e-girls uh, which is actually a good thing, uh, but right now we just have we're, we're like we're, we're so starved in resources that some of us will be making some compromises. So you know, <clears throat> so leave that to someone like me that can handle the compromise. Other people could be more strict, and then you know that's how we uh, you know work the thing. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, so for the most part, there's mixed reactions to the bailout, but I th believe overall people are pretty happy with it. Uh, oh, because there is one thing Mike Cernovich was bringing up in his tweets, right, yesterday. Uh, and I had to kind of stop reading because I just didn't want to read any more negative tweets. <clears throat> he basically said, is your freedom really worth $1,200? And the answer is yes, all right? You know, people don't give a shit about freedom. That's why... Like, I gave it one last big go in 2012 with Ron Paul, 
Nobody gives a shit about freedom, all right? It's not about freedom. Nobody cares, all right? People want to take away freedom. Why do you think so many people love censorship, all right? That's why people are like, you have hate speech. You should be banned. Well, that's not fucking freedom. That's because they don't want fucking freedom. And on top of that, well, I didn't hear anybody complaining about fucking demographics displacement, all right? You know, so that it, people... Now, let's just face it, people who come into America mostly do not like freedom, right? That's why they're coming from countries that have an oppressive governmental system, and they're bringing that stupid mindset here, right? But no one wants to say that, right? And, and that's why I have this huge irritation <clears throat> with a lot of people uh, in general that are complaining about the bailout. It's like, okay, well, well like, you know, you, you, like, yeah, the people should be bailed out, but they're not going to, right? Did you... Did you call out censorship? Maybe. Did you call out the countries that have real control over America, right? The ones that cannot be named or criticized? Oh, no, of course you did. fucking didn't, right? Did you um, did you talk about immigration demographics displacement? How, you know, a bunch of, you know, uh, see, I gotta, see, I gotta try to pretend as if I got a lot of people watching, right? So I'll just, like, the people, the people coming in America that don't share our values, right? You know, they don't like freedom. They don't give a shit about the Constitution, right? And they start voting in, all, voting in all this, you know, far left-wing bullshit, right? Did you protest that? No, of course not, all right? You were just going along to get along, all right? In fact, you probably supported all these uh, people coming in and fucking up America. Well, gee, you know, guess what happened? But, you know, on the other hand, you should also look at the bright side, too. You got 1200 bucks. It's, it's not really not enough, but at least in the... But at least before, we would get nothing, so... You know, there's some progression going on here, all right? Everybody's going to get a bailout. That's the fairest way to do it. And, yeah, people want to go back to work, so you do have to bail out the businesses. That's, like, a pretty basic fact, you know? Now, with that being said, we should start nationalizing companies that do bailouts, right? If they got the second, like the airlines. They got to bail out the second time. We should nationalize their their, their company because at that point, it's like, okay, you know, you're, you're just being incompetent asshole. So it's like, you know, Mike Cernovich did bring up a good valid point about that yesterday in like his Periscope. So it's like, all right. But I mean, it's not black and white. It's always complicated. But the point is, I think it should be overall pretty good. You know, the stocks and shit went up. Remo went up. So everything's kind of stable. Um, let's see, what, what position I am in the queue? Number nine. Oh, wow. We're, we're getting up there. All right, so let's hurry this up. Bitcoin's at 66.32. So pretty much, I think they're just waiting on the House and Nancy Pelosi to officially approve the stimulus bill, which is the vote's supposed to be today. So unless they screw it up and say no, um, I, I think everyone assumes it's going to pass. Uh, Litecoin's at 39.13. Um, Dogcoin is at 228.5 million market cap. <clears throat> and Steam is at 17.85 uh so blocktrades.us you can buy hive and steam now um uh, i think dlease.io is still implementing their shit so might, that might take some time so but you know things are uh, starting to and of course crex is just fucking garbage uh i'm not crex uh this firefox is just so bad all right because i got except because um whatchamacallit yeah this thing is just oh god firefox is just so bad I can't, I can't go into details because I don't want to accidentally, um, come on, oh my god, see this is loading fine, why is this not loading fine, jeez, hmm. alright, well we can't access it, but on Chrome it says JMC is at 5 to 6, uh, it's got a 24 hour amount of $68.47, alright, so I don't know what's wrong with Crux here or Firefox, um but let's see 404 is at six to seven so it's actually pretty solid you know not much changes here uh two by two coins at 62 to 63 so very solid for two by two coin and of course compound coins have actually been going up a lot in price now it's at 67.33 satoshis of dog coin to 80 uh 800 satoshis of the dog coin so it's doing very well uh even mitch was telling me this coin's gonna die i didn't think so all right and uh yeah like <laughs> it, it's getting stronger so you know it's uh you know I, I don't like it when people who don't make as much money as me tell me that you know oh you know you're probably wrong it's like no there's a reason why i have more money than you so can people just stop arguing with me and fucking listen all right 
you know. So hopefully th this time around he will actually listen, especially uh, given the whole coronavirus situation. All right, so I kind of looked at this earlier off stream. It's like, yeah, nothing of interest. Um, blah, blah. Uh, Google Chrome, that's hilarious. Uh, XRP scan through Google Chrome, uh, blah, blah. Kraken says $70, $70 trillion wealth transfer will bring Bitcoin to 350K, but the rise will not happen overnight. Okay, I might be interested in this. Uh, I already looked at that. Uh, we'll get to Trump in a second. Um, no, this is retarded. Uh, I mean, until we deal with coronavirus, like, I'm not expecting bull run. I mean, I expect things to improve and go back to normal, but I don't, I'll, <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, he's blocking a part of the critical infrastructure and make coronavirus uh, the Department of Blockchain. Okay, I don't want to read this, but at least the Department of Homeland Security is citing blockchain tech as something very important. Um, well, yes, because it's immutable, but more importantly, it's also much more resistant to hacking, you know, because because uh, that's also a big deal, too. Uh, we have a pretty good anti-hacking system, but I'm pretty sure if we could free up resources. That would help a lot. So uh, I'm going to refresh this one more time just to be safe. <clears throat> and there we go. Donald Trump has surged back into his commanding position of 49 cents. So he's handling coronavirus very well. We're going to check his Twitter real quick. I mean, the fact that he's actually gone back to normal Donald Trump mode. And he hasn't actually been doing too many of these uh, briefings, but now he's doing one right. Oh, actually, this was from yesterday. 96 0 in the USA. Congratulations, America. Yeah, what's funny is uh, Rand Paul and uh, someone else, like, I, mean, I don't want to be really mean, but, um, you know, uh, Rand Paul is a piece of shit. I'll leave it that way. So I'm glad he's staying at home in isolation, not voting, because he was just being a piece of shit in the Senate. Um, I can't say much more than that, because, you know, I don't want to go dissident right, true, 100% truth talk mode. So I then get banned. So, uh, but let's just say, because I'm going back to this again, every we, you and I, and all people in uh, in this world, right, not just America, we all get what we deserve. So you better not be a piece of shit, and you better and you better keep your lying to a minimum. At the very least, you should just simply not lie, right? Because I because I try not to do that. In fact, I don't remember the last time I did that, unless you know I felt my life was in danger. Then I just say whatever they want to hear, so they don't kill me or whatever, right? Now aside from something like that, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, don't do not do that. <laughs> All right, so Trump's back to his thing. Um, obviously, Trump's going, like, I think Mike Serge even said that Trump could veto the bill, or he retweeted someone else that said that. And it's like, there's no way in hell Trump's going to be dumb enough to do something like that. So, uh, yeah, so he's obviously going to sign it. I mean, he wouldn't say it. He would, if he was going to veto it, he wouldn't have said this. So, and you can tell from... From this that yeah most people approve all right people want their fucking money and you and using that stupid argument of you know the ron paul like freedom 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 no that that's not gonna work uh that's that's just not gonna look we ran on freedom with ron paul in 2012 and he didn't he barely got anything all right so it's not gonna work us successful people run on freedom because we know that's the pathway to riches and happiness and success and funny enough you know What's missing is God. That's probably why. So, you know, it's not even so much about freedom. It's, you know, you should find Jesus Christ. You know, that's the true path. That's the only real pathway to everlasting freedom. Because even if you die, you know, you know, you have a nice little home uh, in heaven. You know, because I'm really, because I really do think eventually real life will become like heaven. And then sin will eventually be gone because, you know, our technology our understanding, you know, hundreds or thousands of years from now will be so advanced that's like, yeah, this makes sense. And then Jesus Christ and God will deem us worthy of his presence and then he'll come down from the heavens, right? Because it did say in the Bible that Jesus Christ would return. He just doesn't say when. Well, yeah, of course it doesn't say he doesn't say when because he doesn't know when we're going to, you know, get our act together, right? But he knows, but the intention is he wants to return. Well, we can't have sin in this world so what does that mean oh it's up to us to prepare for jesus christ's return but not in the apocalyptic way that you think you know we're going to be improving things and 
you know, with all this hoopla about the bailout, whatever, overall, I'm actually pretty happy with it, right? Because again, the people are getting a bailout, right? It's not enough, but before they would get nothing. Now they're getting something, right? That's a big victory. The establishment worked very hard to try to fuck us in the ass, right? Uh, and this time around, they only screwed us over a little bit. Well, no. They screwed us over a lot, but a lot, but much less than they wanted. Because if they had their way, they wanted to just not give anybody anything, right? But that didn't happen. So, you know, next time around, it's going to be even harsher. In fact, I'm kind of hoping it'll just be Nick Fuentes and the Grippers in charge. Because uh, he said this year, well, actually not this year because of coronavirus. But he said the next step is to have, you know, AF, a, uh, AF PAC style events everywhere. You know, kind of like how Mike Sheermich runs Nights for Freedom. Well, now we're going to have competing events, right? So, you know, you can bet everyone's going to go to, you know, Nick Fuentes events. The thing is, I don't know how he's going to handle women coming in. So uh, we'll have to just see. But I'll definitely go, right? I mean, once I have some spare money. Kraken says 70 trillion wealth. Uh, let's see. Shit, 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 shit. I have position eight in the queue. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot to check this. All right, so because uh, I woke up very early at eight a.m. today, I had another good night's sleep, and yeah, I'm finding that uh, programming is getting harder. Like I'm trying to put together a sprite and then animate it and then get it so you can move it. So the, it's like it's really simple, but it's so hard to code it. It's like oh god. All right, so this was expected, right? Unemployment skyrocketing. See, this is also another reason why I don't think the House is going to reject it because there's a lot of unemployment insurance in that bill. And Chuck Schumer already said, yeah, this is solid. And I assume he already told Nancy Pelosi to go vote for it, right? So uh, the House, the Democrats aren't like the establishment Republicans, right? You know, the Democrat establishment knows, yeah, you know, pass this thing. So. Uh, I think everybody pretty much agrees. That's why everything's skyrocketing again. Uh, thank God we're going to avert that kind of crisis. Also, the stock, the markets have already tanked a lot, so they probably already took this into uh, consideration. All right, now we're just getting the real numbers. And as such, uh, Rebel is now continuing to skyrocket. Microsoft's going up. Uh, AMZA, of course, is being a piece of shit. And of course, Region Financial is also doing well. So the stock picks are doing well. Going to get my money back. Uh, I really should have a hundred grand when this is all over, but you know, fucking UBS and MRRL decided to screw me over. So, what are you gonna do? But you know what? Everything's proceeding as planned. America First is happening, and uh, I really do believe that Mike is making a big mistake. You know, uh, trying to screw over. I mean, as much as we hate the Republican establishment, I'm not sure if helping making them lose the Senate is gonna work. Uh, you know, because. Because, uh, you know, why don't you, you know, you know he's, he really has to start punishing the Democrats, too. And the way he has to do that is to go after the degeneracy stuff. I don't see Mike ever doing that, and that's going to bite him in the ass. So, you know, but, you know, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, everybody kind of knows each other, so I'm just, I just know everyone's trying to be polite, but I already see what's going to happen. And I don't technically know Mike's heart, so, but I'm saying, like, you know, if he really does care about America, he's going to have to eventually side with the Groypers on this one. You know, so. Crack, it says 70, 12, oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, wait, what was, I didn't read the last part, but Rise of Crypto won't happen overnight. Well, yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, here's 5G, Okay. Uh, yes, we're gonna all have cancer, but at least we'll get rich while having cancer. Research here, crypto trade. Kraken says it's gonna shatter 350k. Um, okay, assets will shift from baby boomers to children as a major catalyst for Bitcoin bull run. Oh yeah, so if I actually believe this, because people are saying to bail out, bail, uh, bails out the boomers. Well, the boomers are eventually going to die, so they have to pass some of it along. So that could be part of the, you know, glass half empty, glass half full. The thing is, the boomers are going to live forever, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Crunchy numbers, how many millennials are expected to invest in Bitcoin? Just started at 2044. Oh, God. All right, I'm just going to close this. I'm just going to close it. We don't care about 2044. It's the year 2020. Oh, God. I, daily hold is such crap all right you know what we're just gonna make the because i have to go i gotta make sure i am still position eight so where is my effing money all right 
Yeah, it's st it still says I have access to the money. It's not withdrawing money. These a uh, these these fucking assholes. This is why stocks are a scam. You know. All right, so we will make this the thumbnail. So if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com. For are you fucking serious? Uh, well, luckily I'm using a proxy, so I don't care about this because I'm not even anywhere near this. But just in case, just gonna close that. See, that's why you know I'm using a proxy right now. Uh, I think the reason why is because. So I guess somebody must be doing something shady with this pro. Jesus Christ, this thing is making me go through like six fucking captures. Oh, because I have to wait till there's none left on the. Oh my god. Yeah, I love how this fucking asshole just keeps deciding to do this. All right, so youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. I can't believe they actually gave me a capture challenge while I'm just accessing this page, right? Or, you know, from wherever you're watching this from or on my YouTube, youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page and then let's try to grow this channel, all right? Because you want the real truth to come to me. You want to be an asshole or just not get rich, then just go away. I don't want you, you know, leeching off of my shit. All right. So anyway, I'm done for the day. I'm going to try and see what the hell is up with my money. And, uh, oh, yeah, we're going to use this as the thumbnail. So see you all in tomorrow's video. I am apparently doing nothing. Now, I could. Now, if it turns out I could spend my money because my stock brokerage refuses to whatever, I could decide to buy more Remmel, right, because it's obviously doing very well. It's now up to... Three dollars and seventy-one cents, right? It's up thirty-three percent. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of already made my money. Uh, I guess I could put in more. I guess I could spend it, right? Just get a look, because I mean, it is gonna go back up to twenty-seven dollars eventually, or whatever. Because uh, again, don't forget about the risk, right? You know, um, I already mentioned it before, right? Cheesecake fact. I actually didn't say this, but Cheesecake Factory is defaulting on rent payments. Commercial real estate is gonna default on rent payments. A lot of people are gonna default on their rent payments. Uh, but apparently people don't really seem concerned about in terms of rumble so that's all i care about and rf is a bank so people don't seem to be too worried yeah me personally because there's so much bailout money and loan out money being floating around six trillion dollars total with two billion of it basically cash immediately i think i think it'll just be a short-term shock and thank god it's a short-term shock uh so i don't know well who knows maybe this is god's way of telling me hey jason i know you don't want to withdraw your money but i think you should just buy more remel ah uh, it's pretty dangerous right pretty dangerous but i'll talk i'll talk about it with uh my stock broker to now position seven in the queue so i'll see what's up with it uh otherwise i'm not going to be buying anything but if i do buy it'll probably be more remel right uh so but even then it's already going up and of course this thing's still messing up so See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Johnson Chan, GMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, and yes, um, this number continues to skyrocket. We already knew that. That's why the market's going up, because it's already priced in. Uh, uh, and then people are just making the adjustments. People are also probably getting more confident that the House will pass it. Because they have to pass it. You can't just say, hey, it's not good enough. And then all these unemployed people... They're going to get very angry with the Democrats because the Senate already passed it 96 to 0. So what's Nancy Pelosi going to say, right? Every, the Democrats already control the House. If they want to continue controlling the House, they pass the fucking bill, all right? Because aside from Mike Cernovich, no one's really complaining about it, including me and Nick Fuentes. Right? People on the left don't co seem to complain. Adam Townsend's okay with it. I don't even see Will Chamberlain complaining about it either.